Welcome to my second video on the chain rule. In this series, I am discussing how to take the derivative of a function, specifically functions where we need to use the chain rule. And if you need any extra help with calculus or algebra, whatever you need, I do offer live tutoring and homework solutions. So check out my website at mathmeaning.com if you are interested. But let's get started right away with this example. So here in this example, we need to find the derivative of the function f of x is equal to the square root of 2x plus 3 to the fifth minus 7. So this example is a little bit harder because we have a square root uh, and there's going to be lots of algebra involved. Also, we're going to have to use the chain rule two times to take the derivative, which you'll see later on. But the idea for using the chain rule is exactly the same as any other function. So let's get started with our first step. The first thing I like to do when taking the derivative of a square root is get rid of the square root. And this can be done very easily by rewriting it with a 1 half exponent. It's exactly the same. So let's rewrite our function as 2x plus 3 to the fifth minus 7, all raised to the 1 half power. So now notice how we have a big parentheses followed by an exponent of 1 half. This means we have to use the chain rule to take the derivative. Parentheses followed by exponent is a clear indication that we have to use the chain rule to take the derivative. So when taking a derivative, we always have to take our exponent and multiply it in the front. So let's take our exponent of 1 half and multiply it in front of the function. And our new exponent is always subtracted by 1. So 1 half minus 1 is equal to negative 1 half. So now at this point, we are ready to use the chain rule. So once again, what is the chain rule? Uh, the chain rule says that we have to multiply everything by the derivative of the inside of the parentheses. So the derivative of 2x plus 3 to the fifth minus 7. All right, so how do we take the derivative of 2x plus 3 to the fifth? Once again, we have a parentheses followed by an exponent of 5. Parentheses followed by exponent means that we have to use the chain rule. So we have to use the chain rule again. So I think you get the idea by now. Let's take our exponent of 5 and multiply it in the front. And then our new exponent is going to be subtracted by 1. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. And then we got to multiply everything by the derivative of the inside of the parentheses to use the chain rule. So we got to multiply all this by the derivative of 2x plus 3. And we can't forget that we still need to take the derivative of our negative 7 term. But the derivative of negative 7 is just equal to 0. So that does not change anything. And this can still be simplified even further. Uh, we still need to take the derivative of the 2x plus 3 the second time we did the chain rule. And the derivative of 2x is just 2. The derivative of 3 is 0. So this is just equal to 2. All right, so now at this point, the only thing we have left to do is a little bit of algebra and simplify this as much as possible. Uh, one thing we can do is multiply the 2 and the 5 and the 1 half in the front. Uh, 2 times 5 is equal to 10, and 10 times 1 half is equal to 5. All right, and now the next thing we can do is get rid of the negative exponents. Your final answer can never have a negative exponent. So let's use our properties from algebra, uh, which say that a negative exponent in the numerator is a positive exponent in the denominator. So the parentheses with a negative exponent of 1 half, I'm going to rewrite with a positive 1 half exponent in the denominator. All right, and finally, the last thing we can do is change the 1 half exponent back to a square root. Once again, a 1 half exponent and a square root are exactly the same. And the reason why we do this is because we started the problem with a square root, so your final answer should also have a square root. So our final answer is going to be 5 multiplied times 2x plus 3 to the fourth all over the square root of 2x plus 3 to the fifth minus 7. 
So I hope this video gave you a better idea on how to use the chain rule. If you want to keep on learning about derivatives, check out my next video. And once again, if you need any extra help with live tutoring or homework solutions, check out my website. The link is in the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.